Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at three frequently overlooked Google Slides features. Now, these are features that people are sometimes aware of and then they forget about, or you're a new user to Google Slides and you haven't explored these options yet. So, first up, let's take a look at fonts. And I'm going to go ahead here and create a new slide really quickly. I'm going to use the Control M feature which is just a quick way to bring up new slides. By the way, you can also go to slide, new slide, and get the same shortcut. And by default, Google is going to try to get me to use the Arial font in 36 point, and I don't want that. I want to try some other stuff. So I'm going to go to this menu here, and we can select some other default fonts, or we can go to more fonts down here. And this opens up a gallery of more than 400 other fonts that we can add to our list of fonts to use. Maybe I want to use a lobster font, or I decide I want to use the Pacifico font, and I'll add those in. You see they're appearing now. Lobster now appears on the right-hand side. Uh, dancing script. Yeah, let's add that one. Now, if I add too many, and I decide, you know what, I don't want that many in my menu anymore, I can go ahead and just click the X and remove it. Maybe I don't want to use the Oswald font anymore, so I get, get rid of it altogether. Or Rochester, I'll get rid of that altogether. Great. So now let's just go back to the menu and you'll see those fonts that we've added they now show up. Uh, I have rock salt so let's go ahead and say overlooked fonts and we'll say use the more fonts menu to add custom fonts. I'm just going to highlight that again and let's now apply the lobster font to that. So there we go. So that's custom fonts. The next thing we're going to look at is what I'll call image layering. So let's go ahead and add another slide. And I want to change this slide layout from this kind of default title and text. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to apply a different layout. I'm going to call it the blank layout. All right, great. So now I want to layer some images together. So I'm going to go to the background menu, and you can go ahead and choose a different color for your background, or you can go in and you can upload an image, and this image will become part of your background. If you have images saved in your Google Drive account, you can pull them in from there. So I have a lot of images there. You can go ahead and do a search for some images, or we can upload an image, which is what I'll do here. So I'm going to go into my collection of personal images, and I'm going to put in that picture of a buffalo that I have. And this will now become the background for this slide. Now, if I want to add an image on top of this, so I want to have an image on top of an image, I'll go ahead and select the image option here. And again, I have all my same choices for how to add an image. I'm going to choose Upload Image and perhaps I'm going to put my dog on top of this image. And I can click and drag and resize that picture. And I'll put them over here and shrink them down even more. Now I can also go in here and I can crop the image. Let's say I don't need to have as much of the snow in the background, so I'll just do that much of it. Perfect. Now I've cropped the image. So you can layer your images that way. And by the way, you can also hyperlink all your images. Let's go ahead and insert a link. And I might just put in a link to the shelter that it came from. So now someone viewing my slide presentation on the web can click on the image and go to that link. The last thing we're going to take a look at is the language setting in Google Slides. So once again, I'm going to add a new slide. I'm going to use the Control M feature. I'm going to change my layout this time. I'm going to right click and apply a different layout. Let's just go back into that default layout. You can also go up here and do the same thing. And let's just say I want to wrap this up with the final slide. This is the end of the show. So I have my text in there. 
Over here on the left hand side in my file menu, I'm going to go ahead and change my language. And so by default, because I'm here in the US, I have English United States selected. But what if my students are studying Spanish and I want them to do their presentations in Spanish and spell check their work in Spanish? Well, now we can change that option. Likewise, we can go in, we can choose any one of these other languages. Maybe they're learning Italian and they're doing an, a presentation in Italian. And now the spell check is looking for words in Italian rather than words in English. I'll go ahead and put that back into English United States once again. And we see that the squiggly red lines have gone away again. So those are three frequently overlooked Google Slides features. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.